G'day all. Engine DIY shop. Engine DIY shop. They've sent me a, another retro engine to do a review on. Um, got this in the mail a few days ago. I'm really surprised how heavy it is. It's their SE02 model. So let's open the box up and uh, we'll see what's in here. It's a well, to start off with, I must say the packaging on a lot of these Chinese engines is just unbelievable. They've really picked up their game. These instructions. Okay, so it's the SE02 plant. So we've got generator, nice flywheel whistle. Oh, this is going to be very nice. Now the packaging is, it really is insane. The firewall, what's the firewall going to be? The flywheel is just 84 mil. Nice, aluminium, it's got a brass bush. Okay, I'd say that's going to be the base for the, for this lamp. See, that's, Nice heavy piece of brass, very nicely machined. Well, that's nice. That's the the lamp post top. Oh yeah, there's the drive gear. Okay, what else have we got in here? A dog can hear me talking and then set the other dog off. Well, that's nice. That's a very nice... Give this some weight to that little generator. Brass drive pulley. Two steps. Very nicely painted. Well, that's going to be nice to run. Can't wait to put that one in. That's the steam chest. Okay, so boiler. It's got a little nitrile clear washer on it. Wow, there's some there's some nice machining in there. Very surprised at the weight of that, that there really is some weight in that steam chest. Here you have the boiler. Just make sure that boiler. So it's 100 mil, 4 inches. By 42 mil. That's interesting design. So we've got you can see the water, you gotta see the water level in the boiler. Very nice brass boiler. It's got a, a stay, brass stay. You can see it threaded in this side, and there it is there. That's a very that's a Feels like a quality valve. Nice looking whistle. Oh, there's the safety valve. It's quite nice that isn't it? What a what a nice plant. That's going to be the burner, I'd say. Here we have the base. Steel base. Make some room here. A uh, little tool kit. More of these clear O-rings and seals. Even a pair of, there's a pair of tweezers in there. 
How cool is that? The spinner. The ubiquitous Allen keys. Bolts. Screws. Okay, I'm not sure what they are, but they're going to be used. Bit of weight there, okay, that's going to be the steel size to the firebox. Ah, uh, there's the burner. So it's going to be a metho burner, a spirit burner, or a meth burner, depending on what part of the world you are in. In Australia, we've shortened that, and that's the end of that. What a, what a beautiful, absolutely beautiful kit this is. Absolutely. I, I, I know it's hard to describe, but the, there's some weight in that brass. That is just a a really, really nice boiler. So we'll put this over here. I'll have all of these instructions. It's been, been absolutely fantastic with the instructions. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Let's go back to this, this steam chest. This is a really nice, really nice piece of engineering. This is all CNC, but nonetheless, it's just absolutely, it's perfect. CNC just makes it absolutely just just perfect okay well what i'm going to do now i'm going to turn the camera off i'm going to study these instructions and i'm going to put it together and um i'm not going to bore you with a with a build process what i'll do i'll just take some still photos as um i'm going through the build process that dog is just going absolutely crazy out there. Every time he hears me talking, he thinks we've got visitors. But, um, alright. I'll start reading these instructions and I'll get back to you. Okay, all together, 
Very nice. I will give you one hint. Um, put a towel or a large sheet down on the floor at your feet because um, I spent 20 minutes looking for a small bolt and nut and uh, I thought I'll put a sheet down on the towel and uh, yeah I did drop a few more things and it was pretty easy just picking them off the towel instead of them hitting the hardwood floor and uh, taking off but to show you the this is the burner so the burner's got stainless steel mesh wicks which is pretty cool this pops off so you fill that with metho or meths or spirits whatever you call it in your country that just sits in there like this that's oh, come apart on me and then just push this down that's it that goes in there and it's got this heat um, stopper whatever you would call that you can just see that there. it's got that heat stopper to keep the flame in there this is all stainless steel the whole firebox is stainless steel which is I think is pretty cool um, the only thing it's got a silicon tube coming from the boiler to the steam chest I think I would I think I'll modify that uh, with a with a copper copper tube and uh, some nipples and uh, make that a little bit more permanent, but so it still can be removed. Uh, one more hint that was pretty loose, so I, I did lock tight in here and I lock tighted in here, so that that part of the lamp there I lock tighted and where the brass extension goes into uh, the base. I lock tight at that, but gee, I tell you what, I do like this. This generator looks really nice. But um, also, look at this that nice reversing lever. So you back that off, there's your reversing lever, and you can lock it in. I do like that. But uh, let's have a quick air test. I haven't got time to steam it up today, but I will endeavor to do a, another video tomorrow or the next day and get it running up in steam. But uh, so far, this is, it looks beautiful. So we'll put a bit of air in there. There we go. Hit that reversing lever. Push the lamp button. Oh, we go fast enough. There's the lamp. Lamp's on. Lamp's on. Lamp's on. Okay, so the lamp's only going to run. Lamp's only going to run in one direction when the flywheel's running in one direction. There's the. Just turn that air down a bit. Bit more, keep going with the air. Well, there it is. Engine DIY, engine DIY shop. SE02 steam plant. Excuse me, that's very nice. Put some steam oil in there. It's only running on air, but I have to put some steam oil in there and I have oiled all the linkages. But uh, tomorrow or the next day, I'll fill that boiler up, fill this up with some spirits, and uh, we'll get this up in steam. Turn that air off, just disconnect that. Reconnect that boiler tube. Yeah, that's the only thing I think I. That's the only thing I think I, I would do. I, I think I would like to put a brass or copper tube coming there. And uh, there's the exhaust. But uh, 
yeah, I hope you like that. I hope not stills. Haven't tried the whistle yet. The whistle will be interesting to see what the whistle's like tomorrow. But uh, there we have it. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.